Hi everyone, Pastor Joe. Thanks for giving me a minute of your time. I'm standing here in the back hallway of the worship center. Both hallways right now are stacked full of food like this. Uh, so a big shout out to, to Publix and to all of you that uh, round up your totals and you wonder what happens when I give that money. Well, what happens is Publix gets involved and they match part of it. And the long and short is we got seven pallets full of food. So you're seeing here behind me cases of tuna and green beans and strawberry bars and there's beef stew and peanut butter and jelly. I mean thousands of dollars of food that our food pantry will be able to distribute. And again, we feed over 500 families a month through our food pantry. So this is a shout out to Publix and a thank you uh, for all those who work in the food pantry ministry. You're making a huge difference. I've got Charlie the tuna here, you can see, because they like tuna. with not with good taste, but tuna that tastes good. That's, yeah, there you go. Um, a lot of victories. We had a, a baptism here at church this week. We had over 150 down in Palm Bay at worship service, which is fantastic. We uh, had three baptisms at our high school week at camp. And what they did at high school week this year, which I really love, is a group of them went out every day and did service projects. They fixed up uh, a single mom's uh, trailer, built a ramp for her. They did painting for people. They helped a food pantry. Um, they went out and actually put their faith into practice, which is what we try to do every day here at Tomoka Christian. Uh, our, our middle schoolers are at camp this week. We're excited about that. They got a full house down in Keystone Heights this week. So be praying for our middle, middle, middle schoolers that souls will be saved, that we'll see lives change down there. A lot of times at middle school weeks of camp, it's where these young people actually decide they really want to go into ministry and they make commitments to be youth pastors or pastors. And so please be in prayer for that. Now this weekend, the sermon will be from Matthew chapter 4 as we continue our one series about the one life that really matters. And we're going to look at the, the challenging moment in Jesus' life when he goes in front of the ridicule and he's baptized. He humbles himself to be baptized and to start his ministry heading toward the cross and then we're going to take a look at his temptation when satan tempted him to trade his god-given vision for satan's vision or this world's vision we're going to talk about how god has given us a vision and we want to stay focused on what he's given us through all that temptation so read matthew chapter 4 to get ready for that i love being your pastor i'll see you this weekend